All right, good morning, you guys. What's going on? It's, um, it's actually not the morning, it's 4.30 and some crap on there. But anyways, it's been a minute. Um, I don't remember where I left off. That last video was probably me starting the car up. Um, and the car is definitely not even close to where it was in that video. Um, so basically making an update video on this and trying to just go over everything that's with the car. Sorry about that, I'm kind of slacking. Kind of wish I had a first drive video of the car. Um, I guess to kind of do, but anyways, I'll just go over what I did to the car and kind of reveal the new wheels on the car. Finally got new wheels on the car. And um, I guess this is to be the reveal for the wheels. For any wheels on the 240, we do have the um, Kansai Astro wheels, which I absolutely love. I mean, they kind of just resemble the like Blitzo three, three piece wheels from Japan. Um, of course, these are one piece and they're all 18s. So I have an 18s in the front for a 240. If you own a 240, you know it's hard to have an 18 in the front with the clearance around it. Um, so with the 18, all we had to do is basically just cut off uh, a lot of the inside of it to make it work. Um, I don't know how it's going to work for drifting. So far, everything clears full lock, so we shouldn't have an issue with it. But rears need spacers, definitely. I don't know how big of a spacer we'll probably find out about that, but it's it's tucked. It's really bad. Fitment's awful on it right now, but whatever. Man, it's only been like a few weeks, and it's like hella awkward to talk to the camera. I don't know, I don't know how people do it, but anyways. Let's go over everything else on the car lights. The wheels is one thing. There's a lot of things that have been changed or modified on this car ever since the last video. Um, another thing was when I have the OEM mirrors on here, we were missing the actual glass piece of the mirrors. So what it is, went it and bought some GK Tech mirrors. Um, yes, I know the rep getting doors. Don't bash on me for that. I don't care. Um, it's a drift car. Basically, I'm gonna be crashing this and getting close to the car. So I'm not gonna put you know three to four thousand dollar mirrors in my car. So GK Tech, I, they're actually really good for a hundred bucks. I'm not even gonna lie, they're really good quality. Of course, it's dirty right now. I mean, the car's just been sitting, but yeah, GK Tech, hundred bucks. Man, I'm not gonna complain about that. Way better than the OEM, I think. In my my opinion. Um, another thing we did, we completely painted the interior of this car. Whole interior of this car is white now. Um, I I can't stand the oh shit, this fucking spider in there. It's got the shit on me. Okay, whatever. Um, the whole interior used to be like a shitty red. I mean, the, you can see from the door frame, the car used to be originally red, especially with the shitty paint in here. Hate red cars. So getting the red out of the interior has been like a major goal of mine. Like I, I can't stand the red. So whole interior is gutted, painted white to make it look a lot cleaner. Um, what else is new? Uh, Sparkle harness. These are brand new. I took out the, the OEM seatbelt, retractable seatbelts. Um, and we got a six point harness seatbelt in here. Um, so that's all bolted up to that. If you guys want to do a harness in a 240, there is there's a little crap ton of freaking holes back here that you can use to mount the harness to with like the little O-rings, bolt things, whatever. Um, so it's easy to install these. The only thing for the six point is that I had to make two extra holes for the, the bottom strap down there. So whatever, that's easy to do. Drill a hole, get some washers and bolts. Um, other side for the sparkle harness is coming in. I'm waiting for sparkle. They've been kind of on a delay from uh, Spain or wherever, Italy. I think it's Italy. Things made it Italy. Um, so they've been on delay on that. And yeah, just waiting on that. And that's basically everything that got changed or that's new to the car. Oh shit, I almost got the best part of the car. What got changed is LED headlights now. So I got rid of the brake headlights. Um, the main reason why I got rid of it is because the motor on the driver's side for pop-up doesn't work anymore. Um, passenger side still works, so it'll be like a one pop-up headlight type thing. And anyways, I, I love the sleepy eye look on the S13s too. I also love, you know, like the full pop-up headlight look too, but I'd rather go LEDs. Looks a little bit more mean in my opinion. Um, I don't know if you guys know Taguchi is an FD driver. Um, it's kind of like his 180SX. It's kind of been the inspiration for me. I'll put a picture here for it. Um, but that's kind of basically what I was going for on the front end. Um, I just love that look. It looks mean and aggressive. Um, that's kind of how I wanted this drift car to be. It's just going to be mean and, like I said, an aggressive car. That was the option for that. Let's see here. Another thing, I guess we can go over the engine bay too, real quick. Oh my god, I can't open the damn engine bay. 240, man. Hell ghetto, I don't even have the 
they didn't open up anymore so here we go all right so here's the finished product of the one jay-z swap in the c40 um i don't know what actually changed or different <laughs> compared to when we first started it up um mass airflow is in i think that was already in the video uh this is 3d printed too so if you guys ever need a mass airflow sensor for one jay-z you can actually search it up on google Search a 3D printed master flow sensor housing and someone has one on there and it's like damn good too. It's like perfect. Sensor actually fits up right with it too. Uh, let's see here. Another thing, fans are all hooked up too. I didn't have those hooked up, I don't think. Um, so basically we got the quick connect or disconnect for the fans. So I'm gonna just use those with it. So if I ever need to take this off or something, you know, I gotta take the radiator out, take this off because I can't get the radiator out without this. Um, these will just quickly disconnect and they're just ran underneath here uh what else new all the wiring it's all basically covered up with wire protector i guess i don't know what you, what you call that um you can buy stuff on amazon you can get like a 25 foot roll for like so like 10 bucks or something like that and oh these are the relays too for the fans so fans are all hooked up to relays and that's basically it but yeah all the wires match the harness now you don't really see bare wire Besides that ground, don't look at that shit. <laughs> but yeah, that's basically it. Here is the switch panel too for the fans. Um, of course, I'm gonna be putting in different stuff on here. Like this one's my ejective seat of button. Um, probably windshield wipers and I got two fans here. So fan one, fan two, driver, passenger side. And they both work. Always wanted fans like that. It's so cool. You know, just just race car things now. Um, oh, and another thing too is I want to try to make a kind of plate for this, cover all this up, and have this pop out a little more. And the hydro e brake will probably go over here somewhere. So yeah, that's basically it. There's nothing really new on the car besides all that stuff. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and take the car for Ryan so you guys can hear her and see her rip.
isn't good. So my gas gauge in my car doesn't work. I don't know how much gas I got. Um, shit. I need to go get some gas. <laughs> Alright guys, I'm gonna end the video here. I'm gonna go get some gas in the car, that was scary. <laughs> that would've sucked, you know, being in the middle of the road, especially that roundabout was in crap. Um, but anyways, I'm gonna end the video here, guys. Thanks for watching again. Um, I'll keep you guys updated, you know, the car's coming along so far. We got like a month to get this car ready for the drift event, so. Definitely up a lot more gear coming up, because I got a lot of parts I gotta put onto the car, and I need to get it done. Um, and basically, I, I just can't wait for that. So I'll keep you guys updated on everything. Start making videos on the part, so hopefully you'll stick around and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.